Hey, good morning, folks. Randy Johnson, Incident Commander, Pacific Northwest Team 3. So we are, are back assigned to the Cedar Fire uh, today. We transferred command with uh, Northwest Team 6 at uh, 6 o'clock this morning. And PNW3 will have uh, command of this incident uh, going forward. So recognize the, the challenges that Northwest 6 has faced over the past few days uh, and how that, those challenges have impacted uh, the communities here uh, you know, around uh, Oak Ridge, West Fur, and, and all of the folks that uh, live and, and work in this area. So <clears throat> Team 6 had, again, some challenges to, uh, to deal with, with uh, rapid fire growth and, and uh, the Sheriff's Department doing evacuations and, and happy to say that uh, the ultimate goal of life safety was, was met through all of that. Um, we were able to uh, provide safety, uh, provide for, for citizens to be evacuated in a timely fashion, get folks out of the way of the fire, and then be able to start repopulating uh, as soon as possible. So that was uh, no small feat and, and uh, good work by Team 6 uh, to make all that happen and to keep folks safe, keep the firefighters safe, and then be able to re-engage the incident as quickly as possible uh, when conditions allowed. So yesterday, um, as, as we were doing a shadow day again, uh, where we were coming back in, uh, we had a little bit of an advantage because we uh, had been here before, so not as much time needed to get our uh, bearings about us and understand the lay of the land, but took it full advantage of yesterday to, to re-engage, um, make sure that uh, we understand where things are now. Um, as I've mentioned to our team, the only thing the same uh, from when we were here a week and a half ago is the name of this fire. Most everything else has changed in some fashion. So we needed to, to anchor ourselves back into the, to the community and to what the fire has, has done, where it's at now, and where our, our possibilities uh, for re-engaging are. So that was uh, yesterday's mission. Today is uh, that transition day as we talk about. Uh, our folks will be out on the line, uh, filling back in in the overhead positions and tying in with the firefighters, picking up where Team 6 has been working and moving forward. So for today's operation, it will be, uh, again, we, we're looking at uh, the effects of the moisture that came yesterday, about 24 hours ago, 36 hours ago. <clears throat> and quite frankly, that, uh, that moisture hasn't done much to the fire uh, from, a, from the mode of, of slowing fire down. It's moderated, for sure, but the fire's still burning, and there's still uh, quite a bit of fire on the landscape out there. So what it has done is slowed down our ability to, to engage some of the tactics, the firing operations that we know we will be doing. So we're, we're looking for you know, where we can do that now most effectively. Uh, one, of the, one of the things we're pleased with is uh, a lot of the work that we did when we were here previously is still val uh, valid. Those, those uh, indirect lines, those control uh, features that we were uh, working on when we were here, we have the opportunity to re-engage those and, and bring fire to those with a high, higher probability of success and holding uh, on those features. So we'll be doing that today uh, all around the fire on, on all flanks and really just working to uh, where, the, where the option exists to continue bringing fire to those points where we have, have the ability to control them. So uh, that'll be our focus today. Again, also familiarizing ourselves with uh, where the fire is actually at uh, in, and where we can uh, take advantage of, of getting it to a control point that uh, we have confidence that we'll secure this fire for the next uh, wind event that may come our way before a season ending event. So we are, are back and again we ask that if you have questions please reach out uh, to our through our liaison officers to our public information shop and get your questions in and we'll uh, address them as, as quickly and as accurately as we can. Uh, thanks again for your time and for paying attention to uh, what's happening here and uh, we look forward to serving the community and the communities here uh, on this incident. Thank you. Good morning, Damon Schultz, Ops Chief with Oregon State Fire Marshals, uh, Red Team, uh, with an update on today's operation uh, on the Cedar Creek Fire. Uh, today we have still two groups operating. Uh, we have one group we call Group Blue, is operating from D Division Yankee over here to the Division Break for the east side. Uh, they will be continuing to do uh, some patrol and uh, surface prep on the structures that we can and they're continue to work with the wildland partners and get into the uh, burnout operations up in Yankee and also down in Whiskey Tango and then following up with some mop-up operations as, as available to us. On the east side, um, we're going to have another task force over there. They're going to be doing the exact same assignment around Odell Lake and concentrating on more structure assessment and surface prep in the, the uh, Odell Lake area. And that's our 
today's assignments.